India led the way uh, with ratification and did that within one year of the conclusion of the treaty as the first country. Uh, very soon thereafter, over the course of the next months, we uh, attained the number, the magic number of 20 to bring the uh, treaty into force with the uh, accession or ratification uh, by Canada. Uh, so the treaty comes into force on September 30, 2016. Uh, we have already seen two other ratifications since that, bringing them the number to 22, and we expect a large number, and we very much hope the whole international community will join this very worthy effort, uh, and that we will very quickly get to well over 100 contracting parties. The treaty has enormous uh, practical benefits. It's not simply a question of literacy, uh, which of course enriches our lives, <coughs> but it's what you can do with literacy and what one can do with literacy of course is become a fully empowered economic agent. The organisation is indebted to its member states for having, this, uh, having made this great step forward in reaching consensus to establish this treaty which presents I think a, a, a very good picture of how intellectual property, the intellectual property framework can be used to achieve real social and economic benefit. Uh, now I would plead with member states to follow up on that consensus uh, by practical action to find the legislative time to adjust legislation where necessary and to ratify the treaty. It is only really when we have on board the whole international community that this will make sense. Uh, we do not want to create a world in which visually impaired persons in one country have greater opportunities than they have in another country. And that underlines the necessity of universality in respect of the Marrakesh Treaty.